Hello and welcome! This is Matthias Müll for marmoworld.com and welcome to this Premiere Pro tutorial. I want to show you in this tutorial how to create good transition between different songs in Premiere Pro with the help of Audition and our tool Beat Edit. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn this transition that you hear here into this much smoother transition that you can see here. So the problem with this is that the beats of the first song and the beats of the second one are not exactly in sync and in particular that the two songs have a different speed. So you learn a great technique how to make sure that the beats of two songs sync up nicely, how to change the speed of one to match the other. So this is a general idea and now let's get started. So we start by starting our extension Beat Edit from the window menu. And now in Beat Edit, we first load the first of the two songs. In this case, it's this wave file here. And once it's opened, Beat Edit automatically starts its beat detection. Once this is done, you can see the beats visualized here as these blue lines uh, on the waveform. If we click anywhere here inside and click the play, you hear them also as a click sound. So this is the original music. And this is with the beats. So you can hear here that the beats are detected accurately. So what we want to do next is to click on create markers and make sure that clip markers is set as an option here. So when we do this, if you have this uh, file already on your project, then the uh, markers are added to the existing one. If it's not yet in your project, it automatically, beat edit automatically imports it. This is what has been hap or has happened now. So here the WAV file has been imported into your project and if we drag it into our sequence, you can see it has all those markers here that represent the beats. Now we want to do the same with the second audio clip and I just skip this because I think you have seen now once how this is working. So now I have both these audio clips in my timeline and both of them with these beat markers and thanks again to Premium Beat for providing those songs actually to us for this tutorial. Now I want to find the points where I want to transition, where I want to cut from the one song to the other one and to get a seamless result I actually want to cut exactly at a beat. So let's look or let's listen to a bit of the song here. At this point, actually, where this new part of the music starts, here, this is a point where I actually want to transition to the other one. So, uh, obviously, since this is exactly on a beat, we've got a marker at this position, and we want to cut exactly at this marker. Now, one problem is that by default, Beat at, uh, Premiere Pro actually always cuts at exact frames. Yeah, it's like we have here a frame, and the next frame is here you can see that the marker is in between those two. So I first need to explain Premiere Pro that I don't want to cut at this frame or at this frame, but really in between those two frames. And this is only possible if you right click in this part of the timeline where you have these, this ruler here, right click. And then you have here at the bottom uh, the show audio time units option. And if we do this, now you can see I can move my playhead much more detailed in between the two frames. And if I have snapping here enabled and click the sh keep the shift key pressed, you can see it, it snaps here to the marker. And then I can cut this point yeah, either using here the razor tool or a keyboard short com um, command K. So this is where we want to cut the first song and I delete here the remaining part of the song. And now let's take a look at the second one. Mm -hmm. 
again at this point where the music changes at this particular beat we want uh, to do our cut so I keep the shift key pressed navigate exactly to this marker do command K to set a cut and delete the first part in this case if I now move the two together let's play how the transition is sounding like You can see it's an accurate transition exactly at the beat. Yeah. But now let's say we want to have some fading here, like we want, let's say, over maybe eight beats. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Uh, we want to slowly transition from the one uh, to the other music. Now the problem is if you look at the beat markers, you can see that they don't s are not in sync. Yeah, here they match perfectly and now here there's a little difference, here the difference is a little bit bigger and here still a little bit bigger and this is because the, the beats per minute, so the tempo of the song, is not exactly the same for the two and therefore um, let me quickly add here with some command shift D some uh, default transitions, so some fade in and here command shift D also you will s hear that it's not really sounding well right, in particular if we delete those transitions again and just play the two songs simultaneously without any fading you will see that it really sounds uh, horrible the transition here yeah because it don't, they the two don't sync yeah so this is not really a nice transition and what we want to do now is change the speed of the two or, or actually of the second song to match the one of uh, of the first so in other words, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beats here need to have exactly the same length as these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beats here. So they already end at this point. Yeah. And uh, how do we do this? We move this. So I've, I first trimmed it to exactly this length. And now I make sure the first two are aligned exactly to each other. Yeah. And now. I cut the second one with the razor tool at this at this point that should match the length uh, of the first one here so at this speed in this case and again if you have the snapping enabled then it's really easy to to cut at beats because the razor tool will snap uh, to those markers and now I take the second part here drag it just down and make it longer again to start here at the same point and now we have like this part here twice once we have this starting at this point until the end and this is the one that we actually want to retime and this one is just this, this copy of the of this range here is just for reference and you will see later why we need it so now we bring this into adobe audition you might be tempted to say okay to make this the same length as this you could try to do something like using the rate stretch tool you're just saying okay i bring this here like this and now you can see those markers nicely match up but the problem is that this rate stretch tool gives you a pitch shift so this means when you play it slower it will sound darker and when you play it faster it will sound like Mickey Mouse and this is not what we want we don't want this kind of uh, pitch shift so we don't do it this way edit undo and do it in audition instead we make sure our sequence is selected go to edit edit in audition sequence and just click OK now this entire timeline is exported to Audition and new files are actually rendered for those different parts of the audio files that we have here. Now we are in Audition and you can see here we've got our three clips and first we want to bring down this lower clip to the length of this one. The reason why we are not immediately working with this one is because this one we cannot really uh, make longer. Uh, it's just one second handles added by Premiere Pro but it's you cannot make it longer like this. So this simply does not contain the entire song anymore. So let me undo this. Now this is back to its original length and instead we take this one which has the entire length until the end of the song and then with depending on where you hover here at the end of the song you get different tools and you want 
this tool here with the red brackets because this one is the one uh, that allows you to trim the length. We zoom in again, and make sure it has exactly the same length as this one. Yeah. Now we want to change the speed of this, namely such that it d doesn't end here, but actually end here. To change the speed, you need to first enable this symbol here, the toggle global clip stretching. And the stretching is this magic speed change that as does not involve a pitch change. Once you have enabled this, you can see here are additional white triangles. Yeah? You can see now they are not here, now they are here. These are these triangles and if you grab those triangles, you see this symbol which allows to do the speed change. So I click when I see this symbol and just drag it out. And if you uh, you can see it snaps here to this new length and says, okay, I need to stretch it by 107%. And so now we've got the correct speed, but we do not just want to have this length, we want to have this full song. So what we now do is we disable this stretching tool again, such that we don't use it accidentally and zoom out and grab now the end of this clip again with this tool. Yeah? And we drag it out until the end. And now we have the speed changed uh, variant of this music. And what I now make sure is that I have this song selected because I want to export this, this particular clip now. Yeah? And I go to File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown, Selected Clips, which will just export exactly this one clip that we have selected, which is the one with the new speed. So now we can enter here a new file name for the new audio file and it is exported. Now we can go back to Premiere Pro and right click in the project panel to import the new file. I drag it into my project. So now let's mute uh, the old version of the second song and just uh, hear how this new one... So let's mute everything except for the new for now. This is how it sounds, and this is how it sounds together with the old song, uh, with the first song. And you notice that the beats of the two really uh, match perfectly. Okay, that's it. To g now we can actually delete the old version, and to create an even nicer transition, we can add some crossfade effect, and also add this to this clip and now the blending between the two songs and this is our final result sounds like this Okay, so this is how beat matching works in Premiere Pro. So making sure that the beats of one song match to the beats of another song such that we can nicely blend between those songs. And again, this is created with the help of our tool Beat Edit and with the time stretch function of Audition and the great integration between Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Okay, again, this is Matthias for marmoworld.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we've got lots of more tips for Premiere Pro and also After Effects on marmoworld.com. So I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.